game in the race for the Big Ten title. Uh, always a big moment when not one, but two Harbaugh's are in attendance. Brother John there for Jim and National Signing Day on Wednesday. Reunion for Max Biefeldt as well, former Wolverine turned Hoosier. First half, Michigan out of the gate strong. Zach Irvin drive and dish to Derek Walton for three. Maize and Blue up 11. And then it's Biefeldt proving that he has not forgotten how the rims and netting work in Ann Arbor. Knocks down a three of his own to bring Indiana within three. Check out the clock now. Just over nine minutes to play in the first half. Why is this important? Because this Duncan Robinson three, the last basket, actually the last points, Michigan would post in the first half as the Hoosiers would finish the first half, Sean, on an epic 25-0 scoring run. Well, if you're Michigan, usually you go through a drought like this, you get some kind of federal assistance, but that was not the case tonight. And Indiana able to stretch you out from deeper, but Rick, it was their ability to get to the rim. The Hoosiers tonight, 44 points in the paint, and Michigan never able to get into any kind of offensive flow on the other end. The streak at the end of the first was 25-0. It would actually extend into the second for a grand total of a 28-0 run. In the final 9.05 of the first half, Michigan 0 of 12 from the floor. Second half, Indiana not letting its foot off the gas pedal. Nick Zeisloff misses. How about the hustle by OG and Yanobi? Just out efforting everybody from the Wolverines. Hoosiers up by 22. Thomas Bryant, more than just an inside score. What a nice look to Troy Williams. We know Troy Williams can single hand Thunder Chunky. Hoosiers up by 24 and then Yogi Ferrell. Why not? Everybody calling Jared Utoff as player of the year. Yogi's asking, what about me everyone? And Indiana sends the fans in Ann Arbor heading for the exits early. 80-67 your final and let's be honest, this game was nowhere near that close. Farrell finishes with 17, Robert Johnson 16, and Yanobi 11 as Indiana has six players with seven points or more. The Hoosiers answering a lot of questions about their schedule strength, now improving to nine and one in Big Ten play. Post game reaction now. Tom Crean standing by with Sue Ann Roback. Thanks a lot here with Coach Green. Congratulations on this win. You have to talk about the run you went on to end the first half. You should score them, you know, hold them scoreless for nine minutes. Yeah, I didn't realize it was a 25-0 until I heard it at halftime, but we were just really defending at a high level. And I think that we, we felt good about the shots we were taking, even though we weren't making them. But we didn't feel good about the fact we were coming off their shooters on penetration. Once we got that figured out, we are much better. So uh, uh, really a compliment to uh, Tim Buckley, our whole staff, the way that they prepared the guys, the way all these guys responded. We got a lot of bench minutes in the first half, and they did a fantastic job defending and then, and then moving the ball on offense. You had a lot of guys score on offense, but Yogi Ferrell leads the way. What does he do for you aside from just scoring points? He gets better in the game, and that's really, really hard to do. He gets better in the game. He's constantly adjusting in the game. He had the ball in his hands a little bit too much early, and then he moves the ball, and all of a sudden it becomes contagious, and uh, he sets the tone defensively. What he does, as much as anything that he's ever done in his career with us, is he shares his knowledge. He's one of the smartest kids, I've, young men I've ever coached, ever. And he shares his knowledge with his teammates, and we are all better because of it. Well, congratulations on the Thank win. Thank you. Thanks. Guys, let's go back to you in Chicago.